My name is Michelle, and as an assignment for my online class at Walden, I've been given the assignment to evaluate a website. I chose to evaluate the website SaveTheRunnest.com because it is a web page that I've never heard of before and hasn't been mentioned in our text. The strategies I'm going to use are the real strategies, which have been introduced to us in the book Web Literacy for Educators by Alan November. Um, the R in real stands for read the URL. I'm just going to say that when first uh, navigating to this site, the first thing I notice is the images. We have one at the top and a slideshow here on the side. But back to the URL. I see that um, there's a backslash um, index.php, so I'm going to try to take away that and see where it brings us. Okay, this is the same web page. So we are at the home page, and the URL doesn't really say much as to how um, reliable that the information is on here. There's no um, tilde to show that it's opinion. There's um, We just have a .com, so pretty much anyone could have made this website. I know that. Um, let's see, the next strategy in real is to examine the content. So I'm going to look at the web page. Um, as I said, the first thing that caught my attention was the pictures and the slideshow. I can see the slideshow being very distracted. Um, I'm also thinking about what is a rennet. I've never heard of a rennet, so I'm seeing by the pictures they look like hamsters. So I'm just going to go ahead and read a little bit here. Um, welcome to the website dedicated to saving rennets from unnecessary torture and slaughter. Rennets are small hamster-like rodents which are intensively factory farmed and slaughtered for the production of cheese. Rennets are added to milk when making cheese as this aids the coagulation process necessary for the production of cheese. I'm starting to question this because I have never heard of these animals used to make cheese. So I would definitely, after I leave this site, want to check with another source just to um, verify how cheese is made. Um, let's see. When we're looking up here at the top, there's a navigation bar. So the site is organized in a way that's easy to navigate. We have home, about cheese, about rennets, farm locator, right here on P, buy rennet, shop. So I wanted to know more about cheese. I'm going to click on about cheese. Let's see, cheese is made by coagulating milk to give curds, which are then separated from the liquid whey, after which they can be processed and matured into a wide variety of cheeses. So, let's see, it says milk is mostly coagulated by the addition of rennets. The active ingredients of rennets is the enzyme chymosin. Okay, so I'm just going to skim down. That's, I mean, one of the strategies I'm using is I'm just skim, skimming reading just to get an idea of what the site's about. I see the headings. We have about cheese and then vegetarian cheese. So I'm going to look at vegetarian cheese. It says vegetarian cheeses are made without rennets. Um, in the past, fig leaves, melon, and wild thistle and safflower have all been supplied as an alternative to rennets for cheese making. Uh, let's see down here, vegetarian cheeses are widely available in supermarkets and health food stores. A wide variety of cheeses are now made without rennets and labeled suited, suitable for vegetarians. So after reading the vegetarian cheese paragraph, I'm starting to believe that um, this site might be opinionated and created by vegetarians um, trying to stop um, animals from being slaughtered and process of making food. So let's see, I'm just going to look at a couple links just to see if they work. It's always good just to check the links and see where they bring you. So that link works. Um, here's another link. Click here for information on how you can help. Help us stop cruelty and sign a petition. There's a ton of links on here. This one, on the other hand, could not be found. So, let's see. Let's try Farm Locator. Here it says, we believe that there are around 20 factory farms in the UK and Ireland, which intensively breed and slaughter rennets for the cheese industry. The map below shows the estimated location of 20 farms. 
Now this map is not very good because it's not specific. Anyone could have pulled this up and plotted points on the map. Um, so I'm definitely thinking this site is questionable and I would not use it as just a sole source of information. Um, let's see, we did read the URL, examine the content, and then A in real stands for author and owner. So I definitely am curious about the author of the site. Now, as I look down, I see there's more links here. Link to us, religion, about us, Rennet Island links, see goal baiting. Um, I would not have initially found these because they're at the bottom. And when you go to the page, you're directed towards the top. You only see the top half. So these would be the first links you would try to go to. So I'm going to go down here to About Us, and it says, About Us, we have just made most of this up. Rennet is added to cheese, but it is in fact the stomach of slaughtered newly born calves. Make you think, doesn't it? Okay, so now I know that all the time that I just spent navigating this site has been, all the information on it is not true. So that would be frustrating for any student looking over the internet to have went through a bunch of the pages and then come to find out that the information isn't really true after all. So, let's see. So we, all we get here is that the authors are Mark, Jamie and Mike, which there are no last names, so it's not very specific. Down here we know it's from 2005 to 2007. Mark and Jamie, we can try clicking on their names. See what comes up. Well, it looks like a, it looks like just an email link. So that doesn't really help much either. Um, the last step of real is to look at the links. So we also found links at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it says, for further research, you may want to follow these links. Vegetarian Society, Go Veg, PETA, PETA Kids. Okay, so this just verifies that this is opinionated and that it's a vegetarian site based on the links for further research. Um, sponsors, Museum of Hoaxes. Bunny.com, Joke Place. So as we see, this site is pretty much a joke. Um, and it would not be a real website. Okay, as for my reflection to this activity, I really enjoyed doing this assignment because I learned just how deceiving sites could be. Um, anyone could come across a site like this, and it, the information could be presented in a way to look real when it isn't. I mean, the organization, organization on this site was pretty good, the way they set it up to be deceiving. I mean, you have your links up here, which someone would see right off the bat and go to those first. It would probably take a while for them to realize that the About Us is down here in the middle. Um, so, I see that, like, images can be used as distractions, such as the slideshow. Um, there's also advertisements up here at the top and bottom. So those could also be distractions that someone might click on. Um, what I would do is use my experience with this to teach my students because I think I could use this and record it or another website like this and show my students me navigating through the site and then we could talk about how it would relate to them and what they would do navigating through the site. I think this would be a good um, place to start an evaluation lesson. Um, students could see um, different sites and compare why they would be good websites or not. Um, I think if I would have looked for the author maybe first instead of reading so much in the website, it might have helped. Um, so I might tell my students to make sure they scroll up and down the page and look for something like this, like about the author, about us, something more to tell about the author before they get so into the page. Um, it's also um, important to remember that just as you would cite traditional literature, it's essential to find the author of new literacy and where it comes from. Whenever students are looking online, finding web pages, they need to 
cite those, and it's important to have as much information as possible as to where the site comes from. You would want to try to have the author who owns the site, the title, the date, when it was last updated, and all of that. So overall, I think this was a really good experience and that both myself and my students could learn from it. So that is the end of my website evaluation.